Well, hello. Um, sorry I can't meet you all at the Scottish Gallery and show you my work in person. Instead, I thought I'd bring you up to one of my favourite spots. This is um, just behind our house and it's where I come to communicate with nature and, uh, well, find inspiration. Uh, my work in the past, I think I've always regarded as paying homage to nature, but I noticed the Scottish Gallery has called these vessels my, um, my love letters to the fauna and flora, which is a, which I rather liked actually. I think I might, I think I might pinch that description. And I think I've led an incredibly privileged life. I think probably first and foremost, meeting my wife Mary at the Royal College. But just living in such a gorgeous spot as this and um, well being able to make a, a living out of making work that I love making. Um, there is, I'm afraid there is a sting in the tail though and that's just sort of looking back on, on these 70 years I'm very conscious of what we've lost both in terms of landscape and of species, but even more than that, I think of our own sensuality, which really is there not just for our enjoyment, but just to make us so aware of um, you know, our surroundings and what we're doing to the world. Anyway, usually when I finish a piece of work, um, I find there's, there's words sort of tend to rather tumble out of it. So in one of the pieces, The Fields of Gold, um, this poem came out, which I think to rather reflects this loss. So here we are, The Field of Gold. Now you paint this field all gold, companions lost, no cornflower, corn cockle, poppy, pimpernel, no song of linnet, corn bunting flown, Mono gold, mono life, a lesser harvest for my sons to reap. Anyway, having got that off my chest, I hope you enjoy seeing the, the work that the Scottish Gallery is putting on show. Thank you. Bye.